In this video, I'm going to show you how I use Zoom to do PowerPoint and slides presentations and record them to share with my students. Take a look. Hey friends, I'm Tobaldo on Tech, aka the Paperless Professor, and I'm a professor and a doctoral student, and I share tech tips, videos with you to learn how to be paperless, but also how to use Zoom. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're an old friend, thanks for coming back. I know you love the Zoom tutorials, so hopefully this one will show you how to record using PowerPoint or Google Slides, and I even threw in some annotations. Take a look. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little screen record kind of inception here where I'm gonna try to record my screen and record my screen um, so I can show you how to do Zoom and presentation mode, picture in picture and side by side, also PowerPoint and Google Slides. So let's take a look. The first thing I wanna show you are some settings. And if I go here to um, video settings, you can see Recording is where, if you're gonna be recording, this is where you're gonna to want to make sure your settings are set up. The other one is this video record, uh, record the video during the screen share. Um, if I just wanted my screen only, I would uncheck that. But if I'm doing a presentation, I like myself to be in the presentation, so I click that. And if I want myself picture in picture, I just leave it the way it is. If I want myself to be next to or on the side of, I click that one. In this case, I'm gonna do a picture in picture and we'll start there. All right, I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna click share my screen. And in this case, I'm gonna do um, a presentation here. I'm gonna hit uh, share. And so you can see uh, right now, the way I'm seeing myself is always picture in picture. However, when I hit record, we'll see what that looks like. I'm gonna hit record here and I'm gonna record uh, to the computer or I can record to the cloud. It doesn't, it doesn't matter um, in this situation because I'm demoing. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and record to this computer and we are recording. And I can tell we're recording because there's a little button here. I'm gonna go ahead and start the presentation and this is a PowerPoint presentation that I would be talking about, you know, having a growth mindset and I can just click the, the arrow here and I'm going to be talking about, you know, these types of things and some norms. So I, this should record picture in picture when we're done. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. And I'm going to stop the sharing and I'm back to here. Let's go change our sharing settings. I'm sorry, let's go change our recording settings to the where my video should be next to the screen being shared. Okay, and I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen again. You can see that I'm gonna present the Chrome uh, in Chrome this time. I'm gonna hit share. I'm gonna go ahead and start the recording. I can see it's recording because it's flashing. And I'm gonna go ahead and start this um, presentation. From here, I, if I click present, it'll just push everything to full screen. So instead, I'm going to click this little button down here and hit presenter view. Once again, from the camera that I'm recording to the external camera that's sitting right here, you can see that I am picture in picture right here on the screen. However, in the recording, um, the Zoom recording that's being recorded right now, I am off to the right side of this. So um, I'm going to hit presenter view. The great thing about this view is my speaker notes pop up here. And um, I showed this before in a previous video, but I can actually, if I click on this window right here, I can actually make this window a little smaller. And it really does not matter what's behind this window. Um, this green line right here is really all that's being recorded. So all of this other stuff over here is not being recorded, it's off screen. Um, and those presenter notes, if I click up here like this, if I had anything in my speaker notes that I really needed to be paying attention to, they could be right here off to the side. And the only thing that's being seen by, by the recording or by any of my participants, if this was a presentation, would be what the green line is around, okay? And so my presenter notes are and end up right here. So I think those are really cool ways of, um, you know, kind of sharing your screen, um, 
and presenting a presentation uh, in Zoom using PowerPoint, using Google. Um, the other thing I can do is I can actually go to this annotate button and if I click on annotate, if I really wanted to draw my um, student's attention or my the attention of anyone who I was presenting to, I could use this uh, draw tool right here and I can actually use some arrows and I'm gonna change those arrows to red and I'm gonna say right here, we're gonna be really looking at student data or we're really gonna be looking at small group instruction. And I can use things like a check mark. Um, and I can put a check mark there. I can do, I can put a little question mark, like I really don't understand differentiated instruction. That's something that is a question. All of those cool things um, are really nice tools in the annotate button, but I can use the clear button and clear everything, clear all my drawings um, or all anybody else's drawings, but really I can actually hit the save button and it saves it as a PNG for me. I have that already set up. And then in the future, if I wanted to use this image to submit something, it would be a PNG. So I can hit clear, clear all the drawings, and I'm back to this again. So hopefully that was helpful. Presenting Google Slides, presenting PowerPoint, seeing what it actually looks like from the presenter's point of view. I'm gonna hit the stop recording button here. Um, as well as seeing what this kind of looks like from the setup functionality. And again, I got to those in the settings. In this case, I just go to video settings. They're all here um, in the recording settings. Yeah, these are the most important settings for recording side by side or picture in picture. Thanks, if this video helped you out, please click like. I know you guys like Zoom videos and Zoom tutorials, so hopefully this was helpful. I will be recording a couple more in the near future, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other Zoom videos and my tech tip in two minute videos. You might like those too. We'll see you in the next video. No, it didn't record any of that. Oh. <laughs> no, that's not what I said. I don't even know what I said. I didn't hit record. Take a look and I'll show you how to make that happen. That's dumb. Have you... No. Zoom. Well, in this episode, that's what I'm going to take a look. No, 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 not in this episode. This isn't an episode. Where my recording device? Check out my other videos on Zoom and tech tips and tool minutes.